It's no secret Southern Arizona is growing and the housing market is reflecting that. But how does Arizona rank compared to other states? According to a study, Arizona ranks fourth in seeing the biggest increase in rent and overall housing prices. News 4 Tucson's Austin Walker joins us live and explains why we're seeing this spike. Austin. Danelle, in a recent study, it shows since 2019, Arizona has seen a 9.1% increase in how much your rent would cost for an apartment or a house even. And they say that's because of a constant supply and demand issue. According to data from 2019 to date, the cost of homes and monthly rent in the state of Arizona have gone up over 9%. I mean, it's people are getting priced out of the markets. Tyler Ford, a real estate agent for the past 30 years, says there are a couple reasons why we're seeing this increase. Because even if somebody wanted to sell, the challenge that sellers are having, if they want to sell, they have no place to go. So we're kind of in a bottleneck until some inventory freeze up and our inventory levels start to change. He says more people are moving into the state and there are not enough homes to keep up with the growing demand, thus forcing prices through the roof. Ellen Golden, the owner of Goldsmith Real Estate, says there are other incentives pulling people into Southern Arizona. I, I still think it's a great time to buy a house because the interest rates are, are so low. As Tucson's population continues to grow, she says there are some challenges that could be up ahead. You know, when there's not enough um, houses to, to go around, then people think, oh, gee, I should sell my house right now because the prices are high, and that just leaves fewer homes available for rent as well. Throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, experts say the problem has just been magnified. No one could have predicted. It's just been a gradual declining inventory level, which is driving this market. A way to combat the price hike is by building more homes, but it just takes time. Ford says the market is bound to return to normal. I don't see this going on for the next couple of years. Something, something will change the market. It's just how markets, how markets work. For some numbers, the average home in Southern Arizona is $362,000, which is well above what it used to be 